Hello and welcome and ho ho ho, I am the Restless Kaiser. <laughs> Jingle all the way, he said, I'm Johnny B. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for, for Advantage. advantage. Right. So it's that time of year again, mate. Jingle all the way and all that. True facts. And look at this mighty pile of boxes. Woo! So the format for the show is we're going to unwrap some of these presents. And they're basically indicators of what we plan to do <laughs> over the next year. How much of it actually turns out to be correct yeah. is anybody's guess. I think one of these might have been here last year, you know. I'm Are not you joking? I'm not 100%. I'm not 100%. All right. But I think it could have been. Sweet, sweet. Uh, so we'll put a what's it up there so you can watch last year's show if you want to see how uh, factual and accurate we were. But So what's going to happen? John's going to unwrap it one. I'm going to say what it's all about. Okay. One of these is for you. Oh, well, that's worrying. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's start there. Now I'm just going to open this one. It's going to open that one. It's okay. uh, acceptable. Please hold. I think so. I have I to do so. this carefully mm. because Mrs. K would like the uh, wrapping paper back. Yeah, yeah. We're northern, as you see. We're a bit. You need to be careful with the wrapping paper. So if you it's find the right sparse. size gift, you can reuse. And we have a chance. We've gifted many sizes. Oh! What is this madness? What is this madness? Give me a show. Those are Tamiya 54 mil or 135th German. That is a fact. Yes. Oh my. I really, 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 I've been saying this for, for several years Forever. now. Yeah. I think the models are beautiful. Those boxes are less than a 10 or each, maybe even a 5 or at places like Hobbycraft. Wow. Because they're 50 year old sculpts that they're reusing, they're from the 70s or something. And they're lovely, lovely models. I've got some of these already painted up. And you know, like at Wiley Games, they're like five models. Oh, yeah. Why not just do it at a bigger scale? Well, because you need another scenery set. Or at least you need to look oh. again. But I've been looking again at the 28 mil stuff and thinking, I think we can still do a skirmish game. Because they still fit on 25 mil rounds. True, true fact. Feet, you know, at least you'll be able to see them. You'll see them loads, you know, for that kind of tiny skirmish game. Yeah. Which I think is something as we like those systems. Yeah, I mean, look at that. What was that jungle one we did this year? Uh, the bolt action. The bolt action firefight. Firefight. Yeah. I mean, it just looked like we were moving plants around. <laughs> well, absolutely. <laughs> but with these guys. But with bigger models, the hope is when you're playing those, those games. Because yeah. we do like to show the whole board. Yeah, ideally, yeah. You know. See, you, you have an idea. Of yeah. So, where you are. so bigger models, at some point, I've got Russians and Germans already painted. But I haven't got a suitable scenery set yet. Yeah, I we'll think we, we can do some repurposing. Do some real simple stuff though. Big yeah. bits of polystyrene as a yeah, that, that kind of that kind of stuff. So mm. that's that's the first one. Interesting. Uh, this is next, so why not? This one is your own, so you can be as savage as you like. It's with my paper. own. This is a gift for you. Oh God! And it's not indicative of something coming on the channel, probably. Is it not? Well, probably not. Mostly because it's a model I'm giving to you, so it's going under the bed forever, right? Forever and ever. What? So I subscribe to the Imperium Collection. Oh, it's this magazine. And, which is uh, uh, the, the, you know, Warhammer through Hachette Partworks subscription service. Lovely. Marnius Calgar and the Vitrix on a go. Oh. And then I am, you've got at least one mini Marnius. I know this, this is the third Marnius Calgar model, isn't it? There's an old tiny one. There's a, There's a mid range metal one. You've got one. The one sitting on the throne, which isn't even called Marnius Calgar. Right. It's Imperial Commander. I have that. I've got the second head one with a fist up in the air. Yeah. Awesome. Then they bought one out in Terminator Armor. Yeah. Which was all right, but I never had that one. And, and then, then this is a new one, I where think, it's a lot bigger. I think, yeah, because he got primary eyes, yeah. primary eyes. Went over the Rubicon. Beautiful. So model. they came through and it's nearly Christmas and I'll, you know what, I'll give those to John. Oh, thanks, buddy. So 40k in the channel, well, we're just not enjoying 9th edition. And I don't just mean like a little bit not enjoying it. We're just not enjoying it at all, really. Pretty much the whole edition. As a system, though. It, to begin with, it seemed all right. You know, the, the when it was 8th edition the terrain, with a few extra rolls. Yeah, yeah, it was like, okay, this has got potential. But the, the for me, at least, the, the, the format that it went into, which was the, you know, the, the hyper competitive, format the well. mission format, I really struggled with it. Yeah. But that's just me. It is thriving out there. There is a massive community of 40k players. 
But next year, 10th edition seems like it's very 10th much 10th edition happening. seems to be on the horizon. Yeah. Let's hope that it's more... I, I, there was talk that it was going to be an index starter as well. Okay. And if that's the case... That was all right. I felt okay with that. We'll with buy the starter that. sets yeah. and, and, and so forth, and we'll start and we'll play it again. Because we like casual gaming. And 9th edition was built as a competition set. Yes, system. it very much from the ground up, it seems. So that's a shame, but... Yeah. But I still, still love, love the models. Yeah, though, it's beautiful. And the stories. And actually, I've got a Warhammer Plus subscription, and I have enjoyed almost all the animations. Ooh, controversial. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it is. I think if you've got some free time over Christmas, get yourself a one-month subscription. If you love the Warhammer story, one month, binge all the content on there. I was about there, to say, yeah. And then cancel it. Right at the beginning, we were saying Warhammer Plus is likely, if you're not just going straight in, a year on, you've got that content. Yeah. You've got a big wadge to check yeah. out, so... Yeah, whether it's worth uh, £50 a year, for me it is, but I understand that for a lot of people, because you got the miniature, you liked it. Thank you, the yes. Yeah, I got yeah. the assassin. I've ordered the Terminator. Oh, beautiful. And I'm going to not give it to you. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to show you it and then not give it to you. <laughs> anyway, that says in Warhammer. <laughs> On the subject of 40k, though, here's something from Callum, Ooh. Russian Quill. Well, hello there. Uh, quick video now, because it would seem I've got a present from Kaiser Claus and Johnny Elf. Let's see what's inside. It would happen to be the Black Templar Combat Patrol. Why have you got this? I hear you say Brush and Grill. You do Napoleonics. You do Dropley. What's going on? Well, secretly in the background, I have been working on some Black Templars. Uh, this is the first ever 40k I ever did was Black Templars so I've returned back to them got uh, my little test piece here my intercessor I think he's appeared on some stuff um, and then I of course couldn't help myself converted up a, an apothecary I'm a librarian I want them to look my apothecary to look lighter and, and more agile and then a couple of dreadnoughts I have floating around in the uh, in the background. I'll do a better video on these soon, but uh, I'll just have a quick show and tell here. Just to cover it up with my fingers. There we go. So, I'll show them off properly in another video. But, uh, yeah, so uh, these will be adding to that collection to uh, give myself a high marshal there. Get myself a leader and of course the ubiquitous tank. Uh, I actually once designed a Rhino that looked a bit like this so it's really nice to have an official version of my <laughs> my old design when I was 14. Uh, and then yeah the, the combat squad and the, the other intercessor squad there uh, using all the bits to mix up and uh, give myself a uh, force. Uh, I'm not sure you guys can tell from the or know your Black Templar history, but that's the Armageddon badge there. So it's all based on the Armageddon supplement, which was out. Uh, but thank you, Kaiser Claus and Johnny Elf, for the wonderful present. Uh, I'm really going to look forward to digging into that over the Christmas holidays. I want to wish you both and all the guys at Modern for Advantage a Merry Christmas, and of course to all the viewers as well. Signing off. Sweet mate, what a nostalgia trip. Yeah, but you, you, with all the full Warhammer, nostalgia's the only thing he's got, right? For, well, for, for some, for some. You know, it's, it's the really fond good. memories of the past rather than the, the memories of the future. It's really good. Uh, yeah, well, well, I'm that's coming. Coming. Okay, next up. Oh, oh no, I ripped it. Oh no. That's one less hot meal for me. <laughs> <laughs> World Ablaze! This is the War Games Atlantic Panzer Lair. It is the War Games Atlantic Panzer Lair. So, um, I've got lots of different 28 mil Germans. Yes, you All do. of which are painted to different standards. Some of them by other people over the years and so forth. And what I've been doing the back end of this year and intend to continue to next year is to, is to make discrete armies. 
to focus on where I have to use. So rather than using a, a here mortar when I've got my Pat Falchim Jaeger on the table, oh, okay. yeah. getting getting that, those bits done so that the 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 here the Falchim Jaeger um, and Panzer the Panzer look quite different. These have been plastic kits, and you've been doing some kit bashing for me with this, haven't you? I did a little bit, yeah. Did a little bit of kit um, bashing. I, unfortunately, the there's not much option with the War Games Atlantic regards to yeah, as you say, any not of the rifleman teams. Yeah, you yeah. got you got riflemen and SMGs, but we yeah. needed Panzer Shrek, uh, mortar crew, yeah. and I think I'm going to be working on a sniper soon. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was a bit of fun. I mean, some kit mashing with those yeah. to, to sort of pad that out because I use the same sniper in all of the different armies. Yes, and I was realizing, look, I need to get some alternative crew figures for the guns and for the mortars and things like that. So the Panzerlehr army is kind of one of the bolt action areas for next year. Nice, definitely. So it's yeah. good. You're expanding to have three of the same army, <laughs> <laughs> but in different with colored different uniforms. uniforms. Yeah, fantastic. Mm, absolutely. Um, this big one, I feel like this is a meaty one that we should leave till the end. You want to leave that till the end? Maybe. Okay. Let's do this little one here. All right. Well, that one relates to the other one. Well, this one. Yeah. Relates to the other one. Relates to the other one. Possibly the Panzer do for one. I forgot what. No, I do know what this is. I do know what you this do is. Do know what it is. Is uh, it worth leaving it till the end? Because uh, you have. Because you have Someone. knowledge of. Ooh. Mm. These are fun kits. <laughs> Ah! Oh, it's because I'm putting my thumb on the, the paper. <laughs> on the salad eh? John fails to open. No, it. that was booby trapped. It was <laughs> oh, salad tape internally. It was booby trapped. This That's is a little car. Wait, wait. Schwimmwagen type because 166. Not satisfied with three German armies. I actually have four. What's the fourth one? The Gebirgsjäger, which I've oh. mentioned before. <laughs> You're actually going to do Which something. needs rebasing. Well, so having a, when I complete the... Um, ball action is a game I just adore. It's a staple, yeah, staple diet you of know, the channel. I really enjoy the game. So again, with those different armies, I want them... I'm not going to use the same vehicles. I want them to feel different and be different eras of the war. Sweet. So the Gebirgsjäger, which are a bit more kind of off the beaten track kind of yeah. troops, thought I'd get Schwimmwagen, you know, and, and, and a few other different vehicles, which in bolt action will have exactly the same. It's exactly stats. the same, yeah. But <laughs> um, so it's able to cross. Different. Yeah, so my, my, my one armored car can cross this river, but the rest of my army can't. The That's not that really we don't helpful. Have. But it's fun, and yeah. at least they've got paddles and shovels, which is yeah. great. Um, so the, rather. So the Gebirgsjäger are coming after that. You're going to do it? Yeah, but I whether so. I, when and whether I get to it, but also looking at just Rubicon vehicles in general as a way of broadening yeah, the they, range. Yeah, they have a, a, a quite a varied series of vehicles, which are a sexy, sweet. It's a little something I passed over. To clueless Mike. Ooh. Merry Christmas, everybody. The uh, Kaiser and Mrs. K have sent me over a little present, so I thought I'd quickly open it on camera for you all. What could it be? Let's get inside it. Oh, the excitement is building. This is this is pretty exciting. Ho ho ho! This is some dice. Now these just aren't any dice. These are special dice that came in one of the 40k starter editions and they're red, and they're square, and these are my favourite dice in the world, and Kaiser knows so, and he has bought me some for Christmas. Thank you very much. Have a good Christmas all. So he, he does love those dice. Wow, he's Does almost that... got one for every miniature, every <laughs> Blood Angel that he owns. He does not have one dice for every red no, miniature that he has. this is true, because they're all red. He was actually here uh, today, just sort of saying hi, and did a bit of swap over oh, awesome. stuff for Christmas. And I got loads of paints from the Imperium. Oh, right. Are they all red, by any chance? I was like, do you want any of these, by the way? Because, you know, they're the same colours yeah, yeah. as came in the previous two subscriptions that they had as well. A lot of overlap. I don't really use Games Workshop paints a lot of the no, time. No, Because they paint military colours. Yeah. You know, you need particular shades of Valera. 50 shades of green. So it's like, have you got any reds in there? And it's like, there's a Mephiston, <laughs> there's a Corn Red, there's a, what is it, the Sun something Red? Evil Sun Scarlet. Because every thing. miniature he has is just about his red. He does, yeah. He does Except for the gold red. ones. He's yeah, but got even some, they've got some red on, I'm sure. Yeah. The Henry Cavill miniatures. Yeah. Got, yeah. Anyway, that's a lot of Warhammer talk. That's a lot of Warhammer Let's talk. have a look at something else. All right, what would you like to choose from next? Golden Christmas trees, please. Get Golden Christmas trees. This looks right. chonky. Oh, it's giving oh. me a reach around there. 
Open in carefully, carefully, carefully. Oh, look at that. Hang on a minute. There's oh, a feed sorry. here, isn't there? Sorry there, and sorry. That's the second hot meal I've just forfeited. Oh. You, you've trashed the pepper, but still carefully removing it. Yeah. Right. Island of salt, sir. Bolt action island of salt. Boomting. More bolt action. This is a holiday for me. That's what it represents, <laughs> though, which I, I like that. You like that. It's a holiday for you. What in that? This is not a sit. So we've been um, enjoying the combined arms campaign. I think, I think, I, I certainly. I, I, I really have as well. Both elements. The, yeah. The, 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 the gaming, gaming and the game itself. And yeah. And and we've just branched out to be able to do the Cruel Seas and the Blood Red Skies. Yes. Yeah. You haven't seen the Blood Red Skies yet because we haven't had an air battle since we had the miniatures painted. No. <laughs> but we've got them painted and when it happens, you will. But I'm mindful that we're kind of halfway through that campaign. Yeah. And least. we've been enjoying it enough that I don't want it to finish, if that makes sense. Oh, everything got a finishes, my friend. So what comes next after that is... A different... A different theatre. Different theatre. A different theatre. And I going don't... into it from the beginning with everything ready, rather than kind of a bit half-cocked. Yeah. Because we were originally not going to do the air and sea stuff at all. Originally, yeah. And then we was like, no, 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 let's, let's, let's mix that in. Yeah. And then all the things we've learned about the game since then, really. So we're going to do a Pacific Theatre one. Sweet. And the same we, but it's actually Woolly Mike. Is, exactly. Is Hence the that. whole day for me. Um, and it's been painting because you've got a handful of US Marines. I did 10. So he's not doing Marines, he's doing Army, so it'll be more the Southern End. Oh, wow, okay. The MacArthur side of things. So maybe even get a few Australians in there for the odd game or cool. whatever, you know, something just to mix it up a little bit. But yeah, to, to do that um, where there's a lot more sea. I'll so air and sea control yeah. will matter more. Yeah. Nice. And to that end, I've been talking to... Um, Oh, I've got Products for Wargamers, I think he's called. We met him at um, Warfare 2022. Products for what? Oh, uh, the one that you bought the, bought the fencing terrain off. from. Yes. And he had some jungle stuff. So I was chatting to him about, look, next year... Can you fill up a board? <laughs> can you fill up a board? So we've been talking a little bit. I mean, what he does is really affordable. Massively. Mm. But it's a little bit sparse for what I was looking, you know, like the density right. of stuff on. So I was chatting with him and said, he said, well, the thing is, if I double up the amount of stuff on there, then it really the cost is all in the materials. I was like, no, I get that. But, but it's you're so already really cheap, yeah, mate. So. so I'm listening, you know. So we talked and he's going to make some, he's going to make some tester pieces. Bit of high, you know. bit of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole, the whole piece. So rather thicker. than rather than trying to sort of build in a jungle board, it will be lay on terrain, very much in the style of Mel Bosa's um, Burma board. Oh, beautiful! Thing which is a is. beautiful yeah, project. Yeah. If you don't know Mel Bosa terrain shooter, go check him out. You won't regret it. Um, but very much inspired by that, he's kind of having a look at what he can do there. So awesome. yeah, getting some some dimensionality to the board. That kind of thing, I, I, I hope. I mean, he's doing the tester pieces, so we'll see. Oh. Um, because I've come to appreciate the fact that I just don't have time to do If we no, want to show you new no. games all yeah, the time, we, or, we or the same games on new new boards, or the, you know, the models are going to be painted better or whatever, I just, I've spent so much time editing and video That's where you And all the other stuff is goes. I've, I've got to put, which is why I like, it's kind of like the Panzer Lair is my, That's is my side, little project. Side hustle. And you, and because you're kit bashing, you do me six models. Yeah, which is one I can screw. Handle that. Yeah, I can yeah. deal with that. You come back with six kit bash models, and then I'm going to paint up those <laughs> six models rather than like, oh, I need to do all yeah. of this. Blammo. Blammo. Yeah, and I've already got some Japanese painted. They need looking at again. They could definitely be better. Yeah. You know, they were kind of brushed. But got the base for school. There, for, but the base coats are all down and the washes need some highlights. That's and good news. Looking again at the faces. So that's uh, that's that's coming, yeah. So Ooh. the last three are not. <laughs> no, none of them okay none of them are related uh, I want to do this one I think we're going to try that one yeah okay All right. du, 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 du. ooh pull my pull your Johnny off <laughs> pull my cracker <laughs> that there sir is a British starter armor for the Peninsula campaign. And I, I must say, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> You're a little bit worried? Oh, because it says British. Yes, yes. You so think it's like, up... Merry Christmas, yeah, John. I'm hoping, paint this. I'm hoping that my friend and uh, dear friend Callum is going to come and save me here. So if you've been, if, you, if you're if you on the, the Facebook group or the Facebook page, you probably know that for the back end of this year, 
Callum has been, or Brush and Quill, has been painting some British Peninsula and French Peninsula era uh, miniatures. We're, get, we're reaching the point now where, we've, and we've been practicing the games down yeah. at our local club, Luton Tabletop Gamers. Yes. Um, we've been playing Chosen Men, which is the Osprey Blue Book. Sweet. We've got the cavalry, uh, the, inf the infantry. And the thing is that we started without having chosen a roll system. So actually, I've got a lot of French line infantry and grenadiers painted, and it's a skirmish game. <laughs> so we needed to paint a lot of light infantry. Oh. Um, which, you know, I've got yellow. I mean, uh, exactly the, the same, same, but you know. different. Yeah, please. Well, but you want them in, in, in more dynamic poses, yeah, don't yeah. you, for light movement, infantry? Bit of movement. Yeah, these are very much like for, for your ranked up guys. Okay. Um, but, the, but the plan is then as the cavalry, the artillery, the, the kind of... We're at the polish stage now. Right? It's like making sappers and things like that. Yeah, kit bashing an apron on with a bit of green stuff onto a model and giving him an axe. Sweet. All that, that kind of stuff. Because we've got the kind of core forces down. Okay. Um, so over the course of next year, the expectation is that we get to a point when we can start videoing those. That would be nice. You know. Because it's it, a fun little system. Uh, although Callum, I've seen. Yeah. Uh, and Callum's is a commission painter, but he's charging me peanuts, you know. It's mates really. Bless him, stuff. yeah, yeah. It's 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 a favour, is what it is. He's not doing it for the money. It's not nothing, but it's you think about what he's earning by the hour. Oh, yeah. It's atrocious. Yeah. <laughs> Do you well, know what I mean? Thanks, Callum. Yeah, and thank you very much for that. <laughs> Uh, so that is a very much a, a new area for the channel. It won't just be chosen men. Once you've got the collection, well, you can expand and chosen men, move sharp further. practice. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, definitely. How big would you go? How big would I go? Well, how fast can Callum paint them? <laughs> is <laughs> is is the thing? We're not ready for black powder yet, unless you're happy with eight man regiments. eight man regiment. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, bit of abstraction. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, Two left. This one relates to what you just saw. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Okay. Yeah, because uh, again, people who look at the Facebook will have seen this already. But I'm, I am I the nard over this one for oh, quite wow. a while. Wow, it's a generic brown box. It's, yeah! Generic brown box. But is it generic? What's inside? What's inside? Newspaper? Newspaper. Get out of the way. Oh, mate, you actually went... And did it. I went and did it, didn't I? You gone and did it, didn't you? I gone and did it. Mate, epic. Does so it does a sticker the tablescape? Say? Tablescape. That's what they're called. I was thinking Tough, I couldn't remember. Practical it. and ready for, for whatever that word <laughs> for says. What, there. For whatever group purposes you have in mind. So these are awesome. I've seen in fact, I think I own a few bits of, the, well, not this specific terrain, but a yeah. few of their bits. A few of their bits. So, tablescape, I've, I've seen this scenery set. So, obviously, this is for Mediterranean, right? Yeah. This obviously this will be for sharp practice for for Spain look, and so forth. Um, but it'll also do us for um, a Mediterranean. Italy campaign yeah. all action, you know. So, I saw this stuff at... Um, uh, a couple of events this year. And the one, the one in North, the Sa Selwig. Selwig. So at Selwig last year. So at Selwig again this year. And was going to buy it, but they'd gone before we'd finished. Oh, Because we were doing interviews and yeah. stuff. Because this, not only does it look nice. That's good and, to and go, it does, It's pre-painted and it's made of this, I don't know, this kind of, it's, it's that, kind of almost like a foam, foam type resin. Yeah. It's not squishy, but it feels like it, but it weighs nothing. It's pre-painted. And it's pretty reasonably priced. These are probably more 25 than 28 mil in terms of the, the sizes of the building. But that's mm. nagery, isn't it? I mean, they, they, yeah, it works. You know, and um, um, so the, the walls are perhaps a little bit thicker than yeah. I would like, but I think that's a concession to the material. It doesn't want to become brittle. No, you'd snap it then. But it still looks fine. Well, um, I would anyway. And, and I was in no doubt that I wanted it. It's just that I know for a table you needed like 150 quid's worth of it. So, right. So, it's like I need for the time to. You know, when am I. When do I need to do this? Is, when am I is feeling this? flush? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. So, we got. We got. You know, we got? A box full of this. So, we've got the walls and the gates. We've got um, stables, outbuildings, a this big barn. Beautiful stuff. More bits of walls. This is about half of the range. They, 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 there's they about as much again okay. yep. in it. 
But I thought I'd get it out on the table, see which what I did we got. with Callum, see, see, see what we got. And this is enough to have a nice kind of farmstead. Okay. Um, but I definitely am going to be getting more of it. That's good I, to I hear. do like. They have other ranges as well. Um, and, and they were nice. But this one, I think, that just the style that they've made it in and the material, it works. It's the, it's the best. Yeah. Of, the, of what they do, I think. Nice. It's I really like it. nice. And it's providing us with theatre option for ball action. Which is always nice. Which is nice, but specifically bits of this in Sharp Practice and Chosen Men games. Perfect. Perfect. Right then. So the last one is the one that I worry we might have had last year or something similar. Really? Yeah, I'm not, sh I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% oh. sure. It is way Jesus. Oh, oh sorry, Sam. I have talked about it before. You know about it. Oh, yes, we have spoken. So I didn't not... think we were going to commit to this. <laughs> we're not committing to anything here, are we? Ugh. We like 40k. We're not enjoying 9th edition. So, <laughs> so what about Titanicus? Titanicus? Adeptus Titanicus. Oh, my. I have heard the people who play this game describe it in like often phrases like the best game you've never played. The best game you've never played. Yeah, that 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 kind of thing. You know, it's like I'm cool with leaving it just there. <laughs> I'm cool with leaving it in the box. It's the best game I've never. Played. When they originally announced this, that, you know, before it came out, I have such immensity. See, I wasn't a 40k player as a kid. I was an epic player. Well, and it started with the next Titanicus. Yeah. And when they announced that this was coming out, I was like, and I said to the the guy down the local shop, I said, if the starter set's less than 250 quid, I'm all in. And it was 251 pounds. <laughs> no, it was like 400 for <laughs> yeah, the Grandmaster stand. Yeah. Big. It was a mighty thing with all the scenery and so forth. Um, but then the reviews started to come out of it, and people were like, "Those Warlord Titans are like 120, 140 parts." And I and I was not up for that. Yeah, they're not not like the old all. three piece plug together <laughs> yeah. all old Titans. Yeah, yeah the the Adeptus Titanicus models I remember. There was a carapace two with sockets in either side for the guns. Yeah. Cool. Fact. But <laughs> this is like hardcore modeling. This right is how this is making your redemptive dreadnought look like an easy build kit, <laughs> mate. But this current starter box, that it's got it's got updated rules. So the game's been out long enough to to have kind of ironed out a lot of the okay, initial well, bugs. People still fond of it. But this has got the smaller medium sized mechs in it. Which ones are they? So oh, is it the, the Warhounds and the Reavers. The, the Warhounds, yeah. Reavers, and Knights. Sweet. Might be able to deal with that. So knights in this are like the, so the height of a space marine. Sweet. And you get them in a lance. You, you get a knight lance yeah, on triple, the table, yeah. and they're just a bitty little running about chicken <laughs> walker thing, <laughs> and these big stumpy robots. So I really want to play this. Like everything else on the channel, though, it's got to be built and painted before you can yeah. see it. Who's going to do that? And then we've got to play test it and, and, and all yeah. of those kind yeah. of things. But what got my juices going again about this... Is the rumour mill's pretty loud about Epic coming back? Has it gone gone up in... Yeah. Wow. Maybe next year. I mean, I'd be down for that. Well, especially if they're pre-moulded single-piece land raiders. I, I <laughs> like the old ones. I bet they're not, though. I bet you've got to do each individual <laughs> track link. Yeah. <laughs> God, let's hope not. <laughs> but they were like, do you, do you remember those when the, the oh, Rhino was a single yeah, piece? You just clicked it off the sprue, yep, done. the Land Raider, the Hold Eldar the Graph tanks. Perfect. Everything else was in metal, of course, at the time. It was at the time, yeah. yeah. But um, And that Epic is, is much more my game. I'd be so in for that. Yeah, yeah. That's so, one I missed. So kind of making a start here, and I feel the same way about Aeronautica. And again, I had that's quite a good kind of beer and pretzels game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm tempted by that. But it is likely to be in the Horus Heresy era. I'm still okay with that, you know? Because it's yeah. Marines, man. He's painting red it's or just blue. Marines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> black. <laughs> yeah, get, done. Get in the spray cabinet and off you go. So that's what we got, you know, kind of in... It's not the only things no, we've got in the pipe work. It's mostly the things that I've got in the <laughs> boxes around the house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest, so in, in the course of next year, you're going to see a lot more bolt action, uh, but also Cruel Seas and Blood Red Skies coming along with that. You're awesome. going to start to see some Napoleonics on the channel. That's good. Um, what isn't here because it's not it's not it's not in boxes is the um, the Callistra American Civil War stuff. I just did a live stream. We did a testing yes, game. Yes, you with did. Mine. Yeah, we're ready to make a few more. There's a bit of new scenery there. 
So that's something you're going to see a game or two on next year. Sweet. That's all. That's like a slow burn thing. Um, and then we've had from Battlefront, they've just done their Christmas video. Oh, There's a lot of good done. stuff coming out. Well, they, there's going to be another new start set for the super late war and so forth. And I looked at it and it's like, I've got most of that stuff already painted. So we might have oh, a really? few few games. Because it's like King Tigers. Yeah. yeah. But there's a new Panzer II in there. They're kind of thinking with what they're doing with the super back end late war. Oh, is they're like, right, this is the moment when they're like emptying out all the junk from the depots in desperation. In the defense of Berlin. So you've got Whatever's 1940 running. pattern Panzer twos engaging anything. Engaging IS twos because they have them yeah. in yeah. depots there. And that, and that and, and it's and that's what that is. Desperate last time. But it's also a bit of a nod and a wink to early war. Saying, look, we've had a reason to build another early war kit. You know, slowly they're gonna come out. Sweet. And tanks, they said they're gonna be after wave ten, they're gonna start doing platoon packs. Bit like Battletech. Okay. You, know, you buy a lance in a box. So it's going to be completely random, you know, like a I don't, I don't think it is random. For, uh, get, there's one German for each, each the... nation. Okay, all oh, right. Okay. So they've shown the German one, which was like a Stug, a Tiger, and a Panzer Pol, Okay. for example. But you know if get... they were going to lean into that randomness of <laughs> the world of tanks, you know, where you Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because we don't play it like that. No, we do. But you will be seeing more from World of Tanks. I mean, pretty much anything that's told regular on the show, you're going to keep seeing because of the games we enjoy. Yep. SPQR, I don't have anything new to show you, but we are working on painting models. Yeah. We are working that's on the, the, next, next the next game. You know, it's, it's, it still goes on. There's just a lot, of, a lot of stuff to fill. When we can. All right, guys. I hope you have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. Bye. 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 Fatty yeah, smiles and the moonlight choir. I'm being followed by a moon shadow. I can't be bothered to tuck it up, me doofer. Eight minutes of loose jumper. Yeah. Well, well, it's not though, mate. Eh? I'm working on this this year. Yeah. <laughs> That's all, you know, red meat and, and fried chicken, right? Mainly mini cheddars and watsits <laughs> and a half glass of milk at midnight, most probably. Oh, I want a Kit Kat. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Wait, because it's, it's fat, all of it. <laughs> That's what yeah. milk is fat. And then I'm not awake to digest it. <clears throat> well, well, Jim is all this. It's that time of the year again. It's that time of year. Daddy Fat Sacks <laughs> comes along. Same joke every year. Stop. It is. Uh, no, that was it.